In this lecture, we will learn the basic syntax of XML. All XML documents share certain characteristics with one another. The prolog is the first line in an XML document. Having a prolog in your XML document is optional, but if your document does have a prolog, it must be the first line in the document. It starts out with an opening angular bracket, followed by a question mark and the word XML. Then we use the version attribute and give it a value of 1.0. Note that the 1.0 goes inside of quotes. Also note that there is an equal sign between the attribute and the value. The character encoding for the XML document is set in a similar manner. In this example, the encoding is set to UTF-8. We end the prologue with a question mark and a closing angular bracket. After that comes the root element, or the topmost element in an XML document. Note that all XML documents must have one root element that is the parent of all the other elements. A closing tag to the root element goes at the bottom of the XML document. It consists of an opening angular bracket, followed by a forward slash, and then the name of the root element, and finally a closing angular bracket. A tag is the opening angular bracket, tag name, and closing angular bracket. Tags can be opening or closing tags, depending on if there is a forward slash in front of the tag name. If the forward slash is present in front of the tag name, then the tag is a closing tag. An element consists of an opening tag, the content, and the closing tag. Note that XML tags are case sensitive. This means that capital and lowercase letters are considered different in tag names. For example, example with a lowercase e is different from example with an uppercase e. This is because XML recognizes the lowercase e as different from the uppercase e. XML elements have to be properly nested. For example, say we have an opening and closing text tag. Then say we have an opening and closing bold tag inside of our text tags. The idea of properly nesting tags is that if we have an opening tag, text in this case, followed by another opening tag, bold in this case, the second tag must be closed first before the first tag. For example, having the closing text tag before the closing bold tag would not follow the syntax rules of XML in this case. In order to follow the syntax rules of XML and ensure that everything works properly, we should close the bold tag before closing the text tag in this example. Comments in XML are written as follows. They start with an opening angular bracket, followed by an exclamation mark and two hyphens. Then comes the text of the comment. Finally, two hyphens and a closing bracket signify the end of the comment. Two of the key components of the XML language are elements and attributes. In the next lecture, we will learn about XML trees and elements.